Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I was thinking, I was having a little discussion with the Lord. And the thing I notice about us in society, male and female, we will hook up with people we know are after our pocketbook, after our money, after our wallet, uh, after our connections, whatever the case may be. There are people out there who use, 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 who take, 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 who play you like a fiddle. And when they're done with you, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. Now, what ends up happening is if you are insecure, if you're lonely, if you're vulnerable and needy, what you'll end up doing is settling for sub-level connections. And you will connect yourself with people who you know really don't care for you. You know they really don't have your best interest at heart. But what you will do is twist yourself, as my mother used to say, twist yourself into a pretzel shape in order to please, please, please. And you end up begging people to like you. You're begging people to accept you. You're begging people to include you, to love you. And you will pay almost any price for hateful people to take you through the ringer just to say, well, I have some friends. Would they like for me to go with them? Listen, you know in your mind, in your gut, you know that when your money is spent, they will went. They will be so far gone, you won't be able to find them. You know it. Yet, you're willing to bow. Now, I'm going to share something with you that I shared at prison ministry years ago. And it's kind of a cold statement. It's going to sound a little crass. But listen to it anyway. Sometimes we need a little crass to open our eyes to ourselves. Listen. Some of you in relationships, whether it's male, female, or whether it's just associates in your life, you will do anything to get in with some people even though you know that they could care less for you. So what you end up doing, I'm not going to demonstrate it because you will fall out laughing if I stick my big behind up in the air. But imagine someone bending over. Just bend over. Maybe you can do it. Bend over as far as you can. Work your way into the mirror. Turn yourself, get a rear view mirror and look at yourself bending over and then say these words because this is what they see you saying even though you're not saying it out of your mouth you're saying it through your actions through your quiet desperation for love for friendship for acceptance you're bending over and they see this behind staring them in the face and they're cracking up and you're saying, kick me in the tail, beat me up, stick your foot where the sun don't shine. I don't care. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Just like me, please. Now, this is the sad part. It sounds funny. It looks hilarious for somebody to demonstrate it like I did at prison ministry. But when you are doing that, you are bowing to people who don't care. You're bowing to people you know are laughing at you. You know it. You know they have contempt for you. But you're bowing nonetheless.
But when God comes and he knocks at your door, what do you say? Lady Gator, I ain't got time for no religion. What, you don't have time for real love? God is love. You don't have time for that. See ya. I don't want to hear about what I can and can't do. I'm grown. I want to do what I'm being bad enough to do. Really? But when you hook up in these abusive relationships, they're slapping you around telling you what you will do and what you won't. And everything you do with them is what they want, not you. They're not taking care of your needs. They're not looking after you. They're not nursing you when you're sick. They're not buying you things when, when you run short. They're not giving you rides. No, they're using, 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 and taking, taking, taking. And what are you doing? Bowing, bowing, bowing. Giving homage to people who could care less, and you know it. But you refuse to bow to your loving God who has nothing but good intentions for you. He says in Jeremiah, I know the plans I have for you. Plans to bless you, not harm you. See, God, his plans are to give you a hope, to give you a future. But you don't have time for that God. You don't have time for the God that healeth thee. You don't have time for the God that will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. You don't have time for a God who sent his only begotten son to die on a cross for your sins and my sins. That whosoever believes on him would not perish but have everlasting life. You don't have time for the Savior that says, I will give you life and that more abundantly. You don't have time for God's joy, unspeakable, full of glory. You don't have time for God's blessings galore that will come on you and overtake you. You don't have time for that. But you have time for a fool that treats you like dirt. And you're sitting there <laughs> trying so desperately to be loved and accepted. Stop it. What are you thinking? <sighs> and you choose that. 